Hey everybody, thank you for uh, clicking on the video. Uh, the one thing I haven't seen uh, online uh, very or much of, uh, sites from ads or whatnot, is um, the FN, my FN, uh, FNH uh, 15. Um, there's not too many um, reviews or shootings or just talking about it in general. So I thought maybe I'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, my plans for it, uh, what I like about it, and whatnot too, and uh, and whatnot. So, the FNH FN15, uh, or you know, just your AR15, um, is this, right? Just your standard, pretty much standard uh, AR15 um, by FNH um, Fabrique Nationale Herzl. Um, but uh, I'll talk a little bit about it and which one this one is. Uh, this one is the Tactical 2 uh, with a 16 inch barrel. Uh, it has the uh, M-Lock system handguard, free floating. Um, what, uh, what really else? Um, there's nothing really too much about it. It's got the three prong um, flash hider, right? It's got an endless uh, iron sights, front and rear front and rear iron sights um, got an angled foregrip, foregrip from um, Magpul it has a lot of uh, Magpul accessories right the handle uh, pistol grip is Magpul um, what else and then there's the um, CTR stock right I changed this one out from the original one I didn't really like the original one that it came with um, <clears throat> right and then uh, there's the FC1 uh, red dot Right on the top here, um, I added or changed out the charging handle. The charging handle is now an ampi, ampi charging handle, right? And right. Um, oh, just for you guys to know, that's uh, seeing this. There's nothing in the magazine wall, and the chamber is empty. Um, I always check obviously before doing this, but. To demonstrate that I did, um, there it is. Um, there are a couple things as well too. Once again, I added these um, Picatinny rails right over here on the side. These were meant for the uh, M-Lock uh, system. I put these on just in case um, I didn't have anything that was M-Lock and I needed to have something that needed a Picatinny rail. So I added a couple of these guys on. So one, two, three, four, and then the one that the angle for grip is on as well too. Um, like I said before, two 16 inch barrel. This is chrome lined as well too for longevity. <clears throat> this is a mid-length gas uh, gas impingement system, right? So it's like I said, it's like most, if not all of your ARs. Um, the internals as well too work the same. Um, taking it down is the same thing as well too. Right, you got your two pins on this side, one here. One here and one here as well, two right at the bottom. All right. And there it comes in two pieces. All right, so as I said, pretty standard for your uh, um, AR 15, right? So your uh, hammer, your buffer spring right over here. I was thinking of changing out the buffer spring to something a little different. Um, the recoil impulse I, I feel for this um, for this AR it, it feels a little sharp, right? Um, I, I'd be a little hard to explain. It's a good clean shooting gun, but the recoiling impulse opposed to another like ARs that I've shot before, I feel that. It's a little sharp. You feel it a little bit more in the chest. So I'm going to see if I change out the buffer spring to, to see how that works. And as well, too, I feel like I'm going to change out the trigger as well, too. The trigger does seem a little bit squishy when you come up to the wall, right, before you, uh, before it engages. Uh, so I want to change out the um, firing mechanism, me mechanism system on that and seeing uh, what uh, what I can do. A lot of people are saying, you know, if it's don't if it's not broke, don't fix it. And I totally get that. I totally understand that. But it's not about the fact that it, 
whether it's broken or not. I just want to get familiar with every aspect of my AR as I can, adding and subtracting things that I feel or testing out that I feel that um, I can use a little bit more knowledge or testing out or seeing what there is and I can do a little bit of a review about what I buy as well too like for example the buffer spring it doesn't mean a lot but for some people it might mean a lot of things same thing with the trigger assembly I can do a how to to take it out and put it in as well too so that can you know go hand in hand with everything that uh, we're doing as well too um, but a lot of things with hobbies as well too right you have to remember that um, it's a trial and error Right, everything's a trial and error. Right, you have to um, see how it works for you, and it failing or it not working for you to say this wasn't for me or this is for me. I've 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 had a lot of hobbies as well too in the past. I still have a lot of hobbies as well too up to up to today, right? And once again, um, it's one of those things by trial by error, or trial by fire, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, a, a good example is I was a skateboarder uh, growing up through a lot of my uh, early early teens, teens, in my 20s, and, you know, late 20s, and, um, you know, with that, for example, and I, I know I'm going to get a little sidetracked on it, but, for example, I can tell you exactly what I ride and how I ride it, right, so I use just up grip tape, I don't use anything else, I use mis uh, mystery boards, any size between seven, uh, seven, six, seven, six, five to seven, eight, seven, eight, five, Right, which is the width of the board. Um, I don't write anything else but mystery, uh, thunder trucks, uh, mid, um, mid thunder trucks, uh, um, bones reds, uh, bearings, and the wheels I can typically go with, um, you know, you can go with Richta, a little bit harder of a wheel, uh, right down to a little bit, a little bit softer. So, right, you can go with Hubba, for example, for with the wheels. Now, see, for example, with all that I just said and described, that took years of trial and error, trial and error, trial and error, right? I used Darkstar for a long time, I used Status for a long time, I used Element for a long time, and none of them really did what they want, what I wanted them to do, until I came up to, you know, Zero, and I came up to Mystery, and they're, the, like, those, those brands were the ones that did it for me, and I stuck with Mystery, through the last 15 years up to when I stopped skateboarding, right? So anyways, so that's <clears throat> that's the analogy I want to bring to bring to you is the fact that it's the same way, right? Um, you, a lot of people would say it's it's fine, it's the way it works is fine. Yes, you're absolutely right, but I want to see how that works and how that doesn't work for me. If it costs me a little bit more, well, it is a hobby and I enjoy doing it, so I'm going to invest the time, money, effort into doing it and, and, and showing. So anyways, Besides the point, right, I'm thinking of changing up the trigger, not sure to which one yet. Uh, I might build my own or I might do a drop in. I'll have to see how that goes and, and what's more convenient or economical or whatever the case may be. Same thing with the buffer springs, right? But <clears throat> as I said, your standard run of the mill AR-15, this is uh, this is the lower for it, right? Um, this one, as I said, Magpul, uh, uh, Pistol grip, right? There's a little pocket here, but it always seems to be a, an issue to take it out without something else helping. Oh, there it goes, right? Put little tools in there or whatever the case may be or a spare or whatever is, right? So that's the Magpul chart, um, pistol grip. Uh, FN um, engraving for the lower, right? Right, CTR uh, stock. Right, not for the upper, right? As I said, it's pretty pretty much the standard run of the mill, uh, mid-length uh, gas impingement system. Right, so here's your uh, carrier group, right, all in one. So gas impingement, right, and it is a Standard AR assembly. It's a charging handle. I changed it to for the Ambi, right? Just the uh, left and right. And this is the F FC one um, red dot. Um, as I said, there's not really much I could talk about it, right? Because it is your standard, 
your standard AR-15, um, everything that you know another AR-15 would have, just the different th differences in length or um, <coughs> um, breaks or devices or cages or whatever you want to call them, it's going to be a little different. The um, the handles are going to be a little bit different as well too. It could have the you know key mod. It could have you know a Picatinny rail all around. It could have a shroud, right? Whatever handguard. Um, it has it's going to be a little bit different but it's going to still be you know an ar uh same thing with right so the flip uh iron sights flip up sights um embus um iron sights um the one thing i well too i didn't like when i got this i got this a few years back it was one of my favorite ars um that i've shot in um thus far uh, once again, I am in Canada, so a lot of, you know, there's a lot of restrictions and, and issues and whatnot, legalities and whatnot that correspond with, with being here. Uh, one of them was, um, well, I got this from Wolverine, uh, Wolverine, so I can't remember the whole thing. They said it was a few years back. Uh, Wolverine Gun Store, I think it's in Alberta. Um, and they had it for a relatively good price. Um, so I bought it then when I purchased it <clears throat> the sights were supposed to come with uh, an alignment the alignment tool um, to help the front posts with you know the elevation it didn't come with it so it looks like they they took it out and they didn't put one in um, so that was one of my things I don't know if that was done by the government themselves or by the store I would assume uh, done by the store assume I said I don't I don't really know but it was missing the, the, the key for that the little T it's a T tool you just kind of drop it in and you know turn it the clicks as you need it to do so that one was missing so I didn't really like that it was a pain in the ass to try to get it zeroed in myself and it did come with these lar mags more like lol mags these are the worst mags I don't really like them at all um, heavy cumbersome they feel look very awkward and even to to charge it as well too right this is your ar charge it right it's very awkward so it only allows you to have five in the magazine right at a time so this is the one it came with um it did obviously if you're anywhere else but canada um they have uh, ones that have i think comes with a 30 round uh magazine on it the next one i got um was the, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know this one if they see it, the Beowulf, uh, five round Beowulf um, from Press Check Adventures. Um, this was a Canadian brand. Um, unfortunately, the law, there was a, a small, an unwritten rule, or unwritten at pretty much at all, that you were supposed to have five rounds of that caliber in that magazine. So if you're putting a different caliber in that magazine, you are okay, right? Because it's not designed for the caliber, so it's only... So, for example, this holds five Beowulf mags. Ah, sorry, mags. Five Beowulf uh, cartridges or mag, uh, bullets, okay? And because it, that it's designed and it says printed on it five, uh, five Beowulf, uh, five rounds of 50 Beowulf, that means you could fit, you know, 14 rounds of 223 in it. And it was totally fine because of the fact that it's not the the round that it was intended to hold. So you were able to fit more of it. Of it. So I, I got these and I jumped on them <clears throat> when, uh, when they came out. <laughs> it was a really good investment, actually. But the, the law caught up to everybody and I had to pin that one to five rounds uh, or else you are... You know, a hardened criminal. Uh, so, because I don't want to be labeled a hardened criminal when I'm not, because I'm a law-abiding citizen with my my firearms, it's pinned to five, to five. Um, so that was that. So now you're not no longer able to hold more than the capacity of five rounds in any mag with any caliber. But then there's this one. So. This one has a 10 round for 223 or 556, but it's legal as long as it says pistol only, 
right? Designated for pistol only. So I got out of the gun store legal. I was unaware that they made something along the lines of this. And I had to ask the owner as well too. She gave me a little bit of information uh, of what was it, what it was about and what was what was the, the reasonings and this and that. So uh, you can have 10 rounds of 223 or 556 as long as it states for pistol only. Um, I'm not gonna get too much into details. I might leave it for another video on, on what that means and breaks down, but it fits relatively well, or really well, actually. It does kind of still have the, the semi-profile of the, the LAR magazine, but it fits, I would say it fits a lot better. It, right? I've had trouble with these getting jammed in there where it's like I would try to release the magazine and it wouldn't want to come down. I had to grab it and it was very hard to grab because there's only like a finger you can get into that and I had to yank it out. This one is a little bit better. It has maybe about two finger worth of a grab so it is worth a little bit more, right? If it does ever get jammed, it hasn't got jammed on me uh, just yet. Um, it's relatively new actually. I don't think I've taken it to the range. I just got it maybe half a week ago or so. But even testing it out, it's, it's worked pretty fine. So and it's really light, so I do like that. Um, I can definitely put a link in the description below um, for the magazines. You know, the charging handle, the the, the sight, um, the stock, anything along the lines of that. Uh, the one I can't do anymore is the uh, press check ventures. I don't believe they're uh, operational anymore. They were shut down by our friendly uh, RCMP. Um, folks um, but yeah so moving on actually I think I got a little bit too sidetracked on, on, on this stuff as well too but I'll obviously leave a link in the description below for the reason why I made the video which was this FN 15 uh, by FNH um, I'll, I'll, I'll put some videos about shooting and, and the recoil and pulse and, and all that I was talking about uh, really good to shoot um, as I said, this one is custom and made for for me, so it's very, very good to very good to use, user friendly. I would say uh, for me. Uh, so if you have a chance as well too, as so as I said, there isn't a lot of videos out there for the FN15. So here it is. Uh, hopefully, it makes its way around and people can see what it's uh, what it's about. And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Hope you guys have a chance to check out, you know, all the things that I was I was mentioning as well too. Maybe it might be something that you want. Maybe not something you might not want. Just to check it out, to see price points and whatnot too. And uh, yeah, hope you like the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.